Thanks for coming through, bro. Appreciate you. Man. Oh man, appreciate you having me. Oh yeah, you already know, boy. Yo. Boy. You... Yeah, y'all been talking about some shit in the last weeks, and I was like, man, I gotta talk to. This. I, I gotta find out if I, are these the same people? Like, I... what we different? What you mean? Nah, is this something? Different. You know, you think you know a person, and then they tell you like they get so hype about the MC. The, the, they say the MCAs are a beautiful shoe. Oh you know yeah, what? I think they are a beautiful shoe. I, I both of you. I'm like, I, what? It's like, I like them. I think it's one of the worst. I think it's one of the worst Virgil. Because I, I said it was the best one, and I'm like, I think that's one of the no, worst. No, I, did we say it was the best I one? I, I don't think I said it was the best one. Or at least on the last one, I know I didn't. I mean, out of the like, Air Forces, it's up, it's up there. Yeah, no, it's up there. It's out a, of the it's Air a, Forces, it's a Pantone shoe. It's that's top, all it is. It's top ten, it's it's ten off whites that he dropped. Well, so far. How is it even that? It is, bro. What you got? Price you got over it. Wait, wait, wait. Can we... Well, let's enter the episode. Uh, Sub Podcast 84. 84. Isaiah, like, <laughs> as they, Fly say is in the building. You um, know who it yeah. is. Uh, Lawrence is here. I'm here. Cheney's here. Let's get back into it. Yeah, no. So, no. Let's, like, rank these episode releases 84? then. Yeah, 84. Yeah, 84. Randy, Randy Moss, Moss. baby. Yeah, Randy yeah. Moss, baby. Randy Moss, baby. Moss. baby. Moss Actually, I don't have a charger, man. You don't? That's all good. I have a charger. What, a iPhone charger? Yeah, just... Yeah, I, yeah let me yeah, borrow that real quick, bro. I need that juice. I, got you. I thought I had it. Pause also, but um, I thought I had it. Uh, no, it's Thanks, bro. Chicago's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Presto's. Right. Uh huh. They're I'm, debatable. I'm they're interchangeable. Uh huh. You think they're interchangeable? The the first two, yeah. Yeah. Depending on, like I said, depending on what you like. Do you Chicago's like, Presto's. Do you like wearing your shoes? Um, <laughs> that's the question. Presto's. Well, Presto's. Like, yeah. Then like yeah. every Air Max he did. I don't think I don't agree with you on that. Uh, no, what? I don't. I agree. With I don't those. agree with you on that. Air Max. Wise, those Air Maxes are fire. See, I, I know some probably unpopular opinion. Air Max wise, I think my favorite is the the Desert Nineties. I, I love those. Oh, the Desert Nineties yeah. are great. I, yeah. I think though. I think and I like the Serenas. No, I put the, the, the those are Blazers though. No, no, he, no, no. Right? The Serenas are seven twenties. No, no, it was Serena Blazers, Serena 97s. Yeah, 97s? Oh, 97s. Yeah. No, those, okay. those are nice, too. And I he liked like the 97s. He did, like, the heat um, press on them, so it's not like, they're not, like, with seams. It's not, like, too layered. It mm. looks real streamlined. Uh, hey, I don't know. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, like, the purple, glue, uh, blue, like, gray, gray. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, like, I like 97s as a silhouette, though. What? Well, huh? Because they, 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 they're stiff. Uh, I say they're coming in hot this episode. I love it. They're stiff on, uh, the wear-wise, they're stiff all the way, uh, like, okay. no matter how much you break them in, they they're stiff. They're from really narrow feet. I got a wide foot. Ninety seven is just I, so. I, every time I look at a ninety seven, I'm just like, yeah. I don't really well, wear don't them. you? It's you have to like separate it. your wide footedness from the shoe. No, the shoe is beautiful, okay. but I'm like, the personally, yeah, I'm just it's, like, a, it's not yeah, on the list. That's a, that's I a guess it's part of your criteria. It's got to be part of your criteria. But the MCA, right? I don't understand yeah. that. It's just an all light blue shoe. Like you can't see the deconstructed nature of it. Well, it's yeah. not. So, I mean, it's not supposed to be. It's not. It's a little different because it's part of the museum series, so it's mm -hmm. not as. It being as, a part of a museum also adds to the story, the whole... Th yeah. I mean, because yeah, who collapsed with a fucking museum, dog? Well, the blue is part of the, yeah, the, the did, original yeah. like they Chicago like, flag baby. or some shit like that from, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he, he did it right. I think I, I actually like those. Um, they're like... They are top ten. I'm not going to say... What, well, all right, so aesthetically, what do you... Is it the blue, the shade of blue? I think it's the shade of blue you use. No, it's, it's, a, it's a, a good shade. It's a great shade of blue, bro. Wait, I on. think on that model especially, the, the air, that air... Like I think on other shoes it looks fine. Like I, like I like the theme, but on that shoe especially it looks so painted. It just like looks so like. Well, just, yeah, I mean because like, like a temporary tattoo. It's just he, like he said to kids, go to Home Depot and spray your Air Forces, and then kids did. Yeah. So like it, yeah. yeah, I think like I said, I think top five to me is the the, Ch the Chicago's, the two Prestos, the black Prestos, the OG Prestos, OG mm -hmm. black, uh, one of the nineties, uh, the. You can either go desert or you the can de go. I say desert. I say desert's great. Yeah, I think deserts yeah, are. The orange, yeah. Yeah. Um, I also like the uh, the Hollow Eve. I was going to say Hollow Eve blazers Hollow, the, are good. I think, I think the OG blazers are, are better than. The black and white? No, no, the white with the The black. white with the white, yeah. Oh. The I, think the, I think those are, are, I think those are nice. Oh. Uh, he didn't do an Air Max 1. I was waiting. I wanted to see like what that would have been like. Give it time. Yeah. <laughs> Give, he, he's got to get around have, to it. Are we counting the fours? No, because they didn't release, right? No, but they it's not they even, displayed. Yeah, but no, that that doesn't count. We I can't mean, count we'll, any we'll of those the from public, the that no. shit. That supreme shit. No, no, no. Otherwise, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Chicago's being like the biggest flex when you see them. It's like a whoa shoe, like just like ah, uh, like it's like too much attention. I, With I think, green laces. What? <laughs> that's what you. I think. just think in general, bro. In general, right? the UNCs are brighter. I think I think when you see people with the all, when, with the all when I see people with the all white Prestos like like wearing them, I'm like yo. 
Like that, really? that makes just because they're cause so clean. Shoe, it looks and the way it's look, it looks like the fr- like you're the because the, he re- flipped the shoe. It just looks like your toe is about to touch the New York City street. Uh. It looks like the bottom of that that fabric is just about to get so. I got you. Fil- like you know, you could just have white stuff outside in the air, not walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. get that that layer yeah, of yeah, like yeah. New York you know, dust, baby. Like New York, yeah. I've never yeah. seen the um the white ones. But I want to see how they dirty up because I can't imagine those stay clean very long. Either. That's important too. How it ages, man. I like like because you know if you wear your kicks, yeah. like yeah. how it ages is is super important to me. That's why yeah. I, that's why I think the seven hundreds is such a great shoe. Like the Wave Runners, that colorway is such a great shoe because it ages great. What? No, I was uh, I was just thinking. Nah, 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 nah. If it ages, if it ages properly, then it's fine. Like that, with, yeah. with the off white, especially with the off white. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, to be honest with you, I think that's a big thing about the Chicago's, at least to me. Like, cause yeah. when they're like, I look at them, like, worn once or twice, they look beautiful. But as they start to age and that's the the material start to fray, it's like, ugh, it's gonna be like. Bro- I've seen pairs go to uh, round two and like they, they were beat. Wow. And they look terrible. Still like, charging like four hundred for them, right? This, I mean, more than four hundred. Yeah. Bro. yeah, yeah. That's the ultimate hurt level, though, is when you buy the old shit that's beat up, just to like be like, "Yo, I had these." Like you mm-hmm. <laughs> try to <laughs> play I saw some, I, I saw somebody with some hit uh, UNCs today, and I was like, "They're pretty still like four hundred bucks." Like I was just, yeah. they were yeah. beat. I was just like, Oof. Mm-hmm. "Yeah." When they're, I mean, when they're beat, they're they're tough to look at, bro. When I buy ones, I ha- I go to the to the um the, the the shoe repair shop, and I have them put metal taps on them because the dra- I get heel drag. I think because I'm heavy. I get heel drag really? first day, like like really? how, you know how one slide mm-hmm. on the back, yeah. Like it, I get it. So I get the metal, uh, t- so that wears first, and then <laughs> it goes down. You can get it put back on there. So. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. How little tip for big boys out there? <laughs> <laughs> you got big boys and your heels dragging quick. That's that's the trick right there. Do you got? Have you guys ever bought like the cardboard shit that you can put? Oh, uh, I the have toe it for box? every shoe. Yeah, every shoe. Every oh, shoe yeah? you wear yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, shields. I love them. Yeah, I really. Love them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what do you feel on shoe uh, shields? I, I've never w- tried them before. Shields? Never tried them before. Yeah, I've never yeah. Seen I have them. an awkward shaped foot, so like, at no matter, I get the kind of creases I get are like the diagonal ones across the toe box. Uh, yeah, like if I got a good. regular natural cre- like crease on my instep, I wouldn't mind. But like certain shoes, if like if a one or Air Force gets that diagonal crease for some reason, because it's like I don't know, there's too much space. But like I yeah. need that size. I, I just never. I want. I only want to look at it. So it's like I used to just hate it. So I I tried them and I'm like, yo, I, this is I love this. No, I'll beat yeah. I'll beat my pairs to shit. Mm-hmm. Everything, I beat them all. No, no, shit. I like that. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like the, for some reason creasing bothers me. Yeah, more than yeah, dirt, yeah. Like yeah, no, because he no, got, no. he's saying he got fucked up ass creasing. So right, like, right, yeah. Like when you look at the shoe, it's not even gonna look right. It's like a fold. It's not. Yeah, it's like it's uncomfortable for you when you look down. Like why did you try to fold your shoe? as laundry. Yes, that's what it looks like. It looks like it came out of the dryer and you didn't fold it. It's like like you you know. That's some fucked up shit. Yeah, I, I, I hate We've been yeah. doing it for this for like 10 minutes. You've already talked about your feet are fucked up on two different occasions. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back, Isaiah. It's good to oh, have man. you back. Yeah, yeah welcome back, Isaiah. Work, man. First one since Luke's been here, so. Yeah, man. I'm yeah. happy to be here the for The fly this. guy, Isaiah, right I'm here. Fly wow. Isaiah on Instagram. In spirit, uh, yeah. In spirit. Uh, <laughs> you, you've been uh, putting, you've been flexing a little bit with some uh, Element Reacts, React 87s, and Isaiah sends me pictures of sneakers. And it's always like you know comfort. That's yeah. Your, that's oh yeah, thing. yeah. Oh, I love comfort. Man. He's like, yo, should I get these? And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, you know. But Lawrence, I, you know what? He said this before, and I and the thing is, when I'm copping stuff, yeah, I don't know who uh, like other sneakerheads. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So sometimes you want to get that opinion, and I hit him up, and I and I'm like, damn, I shouldn't ask. He's always going to just be like cop him. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be the He's guy. Not, yeah, not, bro, that's what I'm saying. You gotta get in the Discord. Did you? Yeah, honestly, up, if you get so in the Discord, I, I, I hit up Lawrence and I hit up Kelly. Yeah, uh, Snacky, yeah. Snacky. Yeah. I hit up Whoa. Snacks, and she's uh, she's always very honest too. She she we went back and forth on the uh, the Gyokusu, um Oh, the uh, I'm talking about the. Um... Uh-huh. Uh, bla- uh not the blade, but the waffles. They talking about right. It's no, it's waffle esque. It's uh, what is it? It's damn it. Why do I not know the name? The 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 model of shoe he did. It's the um fly, the zoom flies. Zoom fly. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. The zoom flies. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got, I got, uh, I got those, and I was texting her about it. I was like, should I get that? Mm-hmm. And she was like, um, send me another picture. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, she <laughs> <always> <laughs> So I'm, yeah, I was Snacky's great. Yeah, yeah. Shout so to Snacks. I, I hit, I hit up the, these two first, and then you know Lawrence is always like. 
But he asked one question this time. He was like, "They comfortable?" I was like, "Out of this world." And he was like, "I was, he was like, yeah." So, do it, bro. You got yeah, it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it, it's always a lot of people just want the the flex, but it's like, yo, is the shit comfortable, bro? Especially yeah. in New York. I'm, I'm New so York. much. And I think it's because I walk so much. Like between comedy and walking dogs, like I I think I I'm, I'm on my right. feet so. Uh, what happened to the I'm, wheel? I, it's just, I just, it's just impractical to have, to have. I work in the city now, so I don't need it. Oh, like, oh, oh so like, what a shame! It doesn't make no sense to like lug it around. Well, yeah. I guess this brings me to our fucking collab. <laughs> <laughs> so, our collab segment. I came up with a wheel for you. <laughs> a wheel. <laughs> so one of my favorite things about uh, your attire is your uh, your your uh, animal print uh, Air Maxes. Oh right, yeah. The, I the like Atmos, those. Yeah. yeah, the Atmos. I love those. So I thought, <laughs> why don't we have a, a wheel? Why don't we pitch him a wheel? Lawrence, don't look at me like that. No, You're no. here for the ride. I'm You're here, here for, for the ride. ride on the one wheeled ride. On the one wheeled ride. So we were gonna do an animal print on the top, and then like for the, the tail. for the wheels, we were gonna do we were gonna do like a like a rubber that looks like an animal print, like a Ooh. cheetah print. Wow. Right? And then we stick a head of an animal like any animal. That's your choice at this point, wow. you know? Wolf. You wanna do a wolf? <laughs> yeah, we'll do a wolf <laughs> head. And then we'll You're do a, a wolf matching guy? tail. <laughs> I honestly thought you were gonna be a cheetah guy. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm How do you become a wolf? You grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah, the, I mean, you've never they, seen a wolf in spirit person. animal. Leave him alone. What? That's what. That's what I picked as far as exotic animal, bro. Being from here, you're not. There's no exotic. <laughs> you have exotic animals in Boston. You yeah, ever yeah, seen? Yeah. Like, come on. I'm from the suburbs. Yeah. All right. What? Bobcats? <laughs> yeah, bobcats. Yeah. Actually, right. facts. Turkeys. Okay. Turkeys. Turkeys all right. Geese. Yep. Geese. geese? Think, not many I geese. I would have just picked. The, I don't know wolves because I like your ones wolves. Oh, I've seen wolves. So all the rest of them are cats. <laughs> all the rest of the big animals are cats. Uh huh. You know. So we'll have to make some edits because <laughs> this is all a cheetah print design. I was really Jesus banking on Christ. you picking cheetah. It's a rough sketch. You went with the wolf <laughs> for the V twos. All his Jeez. sketches are rough, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do we'll do real wolf fur for the. I'm writing that down. You guys are having this on Instagram, right? You gotta take pictures. Of course. Oh yeah, we're gonna take pictures. We are charging. Forty yes. five hundred dollars for this. Forty five hundred dollars for the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, with the tail and everything, and then you figure for the the head, we got to get a taxidermist in. Note how uh, Luke drew a big. <laughs> wolf I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. You might be wondering how is how practical is this? Well, I have a picture of you uh, riding on this, and then a chick following you with tickle bitties. Oh, because she's attracted to the. The wheel. I actually think I would, pro- since it has a tail, I'd probably have to go Jeremy Scott uh, collab- Ooh. collection with that. I'd probably have to go Jeremy Scott. Just Put some wings on that bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, now I we switch to- all kinds of animals on okay. A winged wolf <laughs> okay. wheel. We'll do one cheetah wheel. Listen, if I do late night, I'm coming out on the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> They're not going to let you come out on a fucking wheel. You <laughs> Who says? That my, by that time, I'm going to be 2031. <laughs> yeah, who knows what they'll want for But if late night's still around, they'll be like, yeah, we got to mix it up. We got to mix it up. If and you know you can ride out around. in the Flyzea X Sub Podcast <laughs> wheel. Yeah, I'm word. saying, I, yo, I'm 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 with it. All right, if we can get some ba- financial back. We'll get some financial. Ba- we're yeah. just teasing all of this. This is all going to be the spring release, man. We're all eventually right? going to start a Kickstarter for all of Luke's merch ideas. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, look, guys, we didn't know what we were asking for when we asked him to be third mic. But now Dude, we I, need your help. Listen, I just started watching Succession, and that makes me think that there's a lot of people who got some money out there who just like are just trying to be young, cool people. Exactly. So they might invest. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't know if y'all watched that show, but it's I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. It's, it's dope. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So we got a lot of we got a lot of shit, man. We want to talk about Isaiah with you, man. We brought you on. We we got a lot of things. Uh, Kanye West, oh Kanye, Jesus is uh is king. Yo, I don't know what what's up with his like uh, Christian rebrand, but it's like really fucking up a bunch of shit. What? What's it, what's it fucking up, Chris? Well, he told <laughs> yeah, he rebrand, told he's always been Christian. Yeah, but no, he's like going hardcore again. Yeah. His first his, his Jesus walks was his first. Yeah, but no, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. He told Kim to stop taking selfies. Wow. Yeah. He, he was just, like, yo, your selfies are too sexy. I'm not with it. And she's like, yo, shut up. Oh, wow. I'm not joking. Wow. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna divorce him. You think yeah. so? Oh, for sure. I mean, if oh, he no. gets if he gets further, if he gets further in the crazy, I mean, because he further in the crazy. Yeah, like, what? Gets, look, that nigga's in the red zone right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he is, he is on the five yard line, bro. But you know, I've always been so down with every other like brand of crazy that he's been on. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've always been like, ah, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't fuck with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is recently when it's been in the, like he's hovering in that red zone where it's just like mm-hmm. like blonde hair Kanye is nuts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like from there on, after that, you know, I mean, true. I guess he wanted. Um, so, did you listen to Yandi at all? Because I know it leaked. I don't know if you got a chance. To it listen leaked, to it. and I listened to some tracks, but then I couldn't like really sit with them and because re- they would get pulled off. So right. I, I was like, yeah. I'm not fucking. Did with you this hear anymore. New Body, the one with Ty and Nikki on it? I I heard it one time. 
So that was that was probably my favorite song on Yanni. It was go- it was dope. But I guess Ye hit Nikki and was like, "Yo, let's make this a gospel song." And she was like, "What? No, it's great the way it is." So I guess, he's like trying to redo. Uh, like, yeah, I don't know how I feel. But look, if we get a bunch of um, ultralight beams, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Ultra- I like that. Ultralight beam was pretty good. So, so basically, what he said, he said the album's dropping on Christmas. He told Zane Lowe that today. Yeah, yeah. I guess he said it's on. Um, he's on theme, you know. And yeah. and is he, what Christmas though? Christmas 2019, 2021, <laughs> Christmas yeah. 35. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what's going Your on. Your guess man. is as good as sub podcasts. All right, so Jesus is uh, Jesus still making is dope King colors, though. is what's yeah, supposed to be fire. coming out tonight, right? And then Jesus is born is supposed to come out on Christmas. Wait a second. Yeah, I don't really. I dude, Kanye. I man. can't keep up with this dude. I didn't so, get a chance to listen to the Zane Lowe interview yet. So yeah, so he's saying Jesus. His uh, he spilled the beans and with Zane Lowe and said that he spilled the beans. Uh, Jesus is born will be dropping on Christmas, but I thought Jesus is King. Yeah, like which album is supposed to drop Friday? So Jesus is King. Jesus is King is dropping. Friday, which is in a few hours as we're recording this podcast. Yeah, this is Thursday, Thursday. What, the 24th? Yeah, this is yeah. the 24th. Yeah. And then Jesus is uh, born. Is uh, It's a Sunday service album. It's coming on Christmas, supposedly. But I think he should just focus on whatever the fuck he wants to do. Can we tonight. just get Yandi done completely? Like, Because that album was fire. <laughs> I like that album a lot. I, 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 I'd love to listen to it. Oh, it's a fun way to send it to you. Yo, Give some of the quotes I'm looking at online, he said, uh, my fault, he, he had, uh, Kanye admitted that he asked people working on Jesus is King to not have premarital sex. It says, there were times that, when I wow. was asking people not to have premarital <sighs> sex while they were working on the album. That's what I'm saying. Like, the Christian rebrand is nuts, dude. Yeah, this is another level. I didn't know it was this serious. I haven't been keeping up with Kanye. Yeah, guys. dude, it's bananas. Mm-hmm. This is... This is... <laughs> He literally <laughs> asked his wife, who came out with a book about selfies, to stop taking sexy selfies, dog. Fuck a book about selfies. He met it. He knows about it because she made a homemade porno. Like, yeah. like that's like you know what I mean. Like, yeah, he, he's gonna rebrand that too. Like people still remember that. That's yeah, how. Yeah. She's- so some of the quotes from the Kanye interview. Now that uh, now that I'm in service to Christ, my job is to spread the gospel to let people know what Jesus has done for me. I've spread a lot of things, he said in the interview. Uh, also, quote, unquote, there were uh, there was a time I was letting you know what high fashion had done for me. I was letting you know what the, the Hennessy had done for me. But now I'm mm-hmm. letting you know what mm-hmm. Jesus has done for me and that I'm in, no longer a slave. I'm a son now, a son of God. I'm free. The most space that I've had, blah, 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 was when I went to the hospital. It's just a lot of shit. Wow. I feel uh, like there's a way we can compromise this. Like, can we get holy Hennessy, Kanye? Because that would be fire. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> That's a classic. Uh, th- that when you hear those quotes, though, that's like such classic Kanye rambling. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, he, he's just rambling on a different thing now, and it's just God. And people are gonna. I mean, I I, I pull back because I hate when people start preaching on the subway. Man, I don't want. Mm, I don't yeah, want. Yeah. I, I got. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just, it's just like when you you can't work with a person who just infor- like who mm-hmm. just weaves it into everything they do. It's mm-hmm. like yeah. All right, man. <laughs> like what? I don't know, but this this rebrand is not the rebrand I was hoping for. No, I, yeah. no, it's uh, it's interesting, you know. But, but but you know what though, I am I am still holding out because I think that just like every other rebranding of kind, this will pass. This will this too will pass. This yeah, this is will just pass. Kanye, this is the Kanye. This is the Kanye phase. Yeah, it's yeah. one of these Kanye's phases. Kanye's like, going through a phase. Yeah, people are gonna like, dude, he's gonna be in, like a heavy metal phase after this. He's gonna yeah. go straight yeah, that's devil. Actually, he kind of <laughs> he kind of had that already aesthetically. Anyway, he didn't like go too far into that's the music, true. but he aesthetically was Bomber like jackets, a punk guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, you're talking about like fashion wise? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, when he was doing No, I'm all... talking about he's gonna be making like metal rec like metal rec. No, I know what you're like, saying. Yeah, yeah, saying. Yeah, that'd be sure. sick. Singing about Could Satan. Be. He was like, he, he, I can see the rant now. I told y'all about Jesus and why he's my king. Now I'm gonna tell you about Satan, because I'm gonna tell you about everything. Like that, yeah. that mm-hmm. sounds like Kanye. Mm-hmm. Ma- Natal Yeka? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> It's Epis- not bad. Episode name. <laughs> <laughs> Mattel Yeka? <laughs> but, uh, it's rare. Chris got one, man. <laughs> oh, shit. It's rare. Yo, you better Listen. fuck this straight up. Fuck off. Of I say, <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, exactly so, like I don't listen to every episode. We got to we gotta top him now. Oh, El, we all got to top him. Nah, Fly, nah, we got nah, to nah, top him. I think he's got Listen, the episode's not over yet. <laughs> he got the knockdown right I'm gonna write it. I'll just write it down. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Yeka. <laughs> now you remember, gotta do remember it when, remember when Chris phone. had a good one, but it wasn't recording. Oh yeah, it's true. I was oh, making yeah, fun yeah. of your jumpsuit. 
That's damn. funny. It was some sort of roast. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I had I, a good I, one. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't there for it, so I couldn't yeah. hear it. So you <laughs> fucking, it's all fiction to me. Oh, man. It was the first time I think I had Lawrence generally like, laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a genuine laugh, too, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You usually you, I hear it on some of the recordings. You just like, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah. Let me just yo, appease Chris. Real quick, yo, the episode, the episode where y'all were like, <laughs> not a, wait, I, I almost lost my head. I'm a nerd out real quick. The episode where where y'all were recording in, in Lawrence's whip, I was like picturing the whole thing because <laughs> like he Chris kept yelling at the dudes playing ball. <laughs> Lawrence's like, stop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, shut yeah, the Phil. Fuck I remember up. that one. Like, yo, yeah. Phil. Yo, he's, he's like, I said, shut the fuck up. Chris. Chris. Later, like, Phil. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. He's bro. just coming in like the fucking token white guy. Oh, that shit was fire. All them Asian dudes are going to whip. I was the ass. only nice white guy. Nice to meet you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, hello. How uh, are you? <laughs> we're recording a podcast in here. <laughs> yeah, they were like, what are you doing? Karaoke? And we're like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's podcast. Pleasure to meet you, man. Oh Pleasure to God. meet you. Oh, shit. That was funny as fuck. <laughs> I've done a couple car casts, so yeah, I know what it is. Nah. We, I, was playing, what it is. I was playing ball, man. Speaking of ball, man, NBA season back, man. Oh, I know. Oh. I'm so excited. I get excited for the first two months. Yeah. And then I don't get excited again until the trade deadline in the winter. Yeah. After right. the All Star break. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think, yeah, you're like a lot of people. A lot of people are excited to see the players on the new teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then, you know, Christmas Day is, you know, there's like five or six games. Yeah, I watch a lot. And yeah. then there's like that, like you said, then there's that little break. And then like around All-Star weekend, people start yeah. tuning in. Start popping the up trade again. deadline the again. trade yeah. deadline's right around All-Star. All-Star. Yep. So I like that because also it's like you get to see, because beginning of the season, I love the lead up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, the excited, like mm-hmm. I love watching, you know, everybody just break All everything down. All practice time. Like, yeah. Yeah, who's gonna be what? And yeah. then the first two months, they're like, "Oh, this doesn't work at all." Yeah, yeah. 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 And then they start saying like the trade rumors start, and then yeah. it's like, yeah. "Oh, wait, if mm-hmm. they traded so and so, that would be dope." Yeah. So like, I like that. But and, you know what's weird is trade rumors now are just forever. Like, there's no like period up until you know what I mean. Like, trade rumors are happening now for like two years from now. Yeah, that's also, true. Also, the NBA is cool again. Like, honestly, I haven't felt the NBA has been cool like i feel like the nba was cool in like the iverson era but then that's when it like kind of when when they started making them wear suits because mm-hmm. Iverson had everybody walking in, yeah. into the into the arena. Iverson is a fucking fashion god. Yeah, yeah. I've said <laughs> this forever. Dude, mm-hmm. So when he had i don't know uh yeah okay uh but <laughs> But uh, when he was, yeah, when it, when they started the dress code and it was mm-hmm. like those boxy, <clears throat> ugly suits, the NBA kind of got corny. They were making people get shorter shorts, like yeah. And, yeah. Did, but now they don't even have that anymore because no. the, the fashion did, is not thuggish anymore. Mm. Yeah. So like dudes walk into the arena wearing whatever they want now, which is yeah. nice because they know they they stunt and it's a little yeah. like you know well, runway. We got a little glimpse of uh, some players and actually saw LeBron uh, opening night uh, against the Clippers. He was wearing. Uh, uh, he's wearing a cactus plant, uh, ooh, uh, cactus ooh. plant Air Force Ones. Okay. Uh, NBA. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, it was a pair of white ones with. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I don't like those at all. The custom ones where you can put the up tempo le- style yeah, letters on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think those are terrible. To my hot takes, I think those are. Terrible. No, I'm w- I'm kind of with you on it. I'm not necessarily I, excited. Well, cactus flea to me is over two, but that's. I just think me. it's a fusion. I know. I think the fir- the vapor maxes are uh, incredible, but like <laughs> the I blind, think the, I think the <laughs> the that the fusion is. Just, I feel like it's like. It's like a bad fusion. It's two shoes that shouldn't have elements on it. They're doing weird fusions now. I think it's because they're running out of like uh, organic good ones. I mean, because they just did that SB or what was it? A, a, yeah, they're doing like an SB six. Yeah, they're doing an SB up. shoe with oh, a six sole. Sounds, yeah, no, no, no this, the six. It's like the tongue is kind of like it's a just, six tongue. It's, yeah, they're doing weird shit. But I mean, if yeah, big up to LeBron, well, they're like whatever, man. Well, like yeah, good for you, bro. Well, they actually, uh, and I was just right before I came here, uh, Nike to generate even more hype on this shoe. Uh, they canceled a lot of people's orders. Uh, really? What do you mean? So a lot of people, you know, people got, not many people got through, first of all, uh, on the shoe. Is this conspiracy, L? No, this isn't conspiracy. Well, it, it okay, I'll say this. Um, the shoe was, like, super limited. And people had, so if you tried to create a pair on uh, Monday, I believe, it was hard as fuck for you to get through. Right. right? All right. And, uh, and then if you got through, you got, like, super lucky or, like, you just kept trying. And as I was walking here, I just saw a bunch of tweets where people were getting their orders canceled. So what happens now is, obviously, it makes the shoe more right, of course, uh, hyped 
You know, yeah. so you see, so you haven't really, we haven't seen many people wear them. No. On feet. We saw LeBron, Travis Scott had a pair, mm-hmm. uh, Ace Hat Rocky had a yeah. pair. Only yeah. a couple people select, um, like they probably handed them the pairs. Joe LaPuma has a pair. Of course. Not. Um, <laughs> and, and, um, and now the apparel is coming out on the 28th. So the shoes came out on the 21st uh-huh. uh, and the, the apparel is coming out on um, the 28th, which some of that apparel is really nice. Yeah. I've been liking the apparel lately. Like, uh, I think the Sakai apparel mm. is dope. Sakai apparel is dope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But with the cactus, it, it just feels, and that's the same thing, even with the Sakai is like, like for people trying to like get them through Nike, it was like pe- a lot of people couldn't even enter the the draw if you tried to if you're a listener you try to enter the draw i'm sure you had problems even getting through and it's the same thing with these like these cactus mm-hmm. plant uh you know it's just it nike obviously they once again they know what they're doing to drive the hype on the shoe right because right. the blazers were people they were up on online for 40 minutes before 40 50 minutes before nike said all right we've made enough with this, it, it literally got to the point where if you, you couldn't even get through in the first five minutes. Mm. And they've seated them with the correct people that drive the hype through the roof. So I was just looking at a lot of people getting their orders canceled and shit like that, <clears> which... <throat> interesting. It's very interesting. Oh, man. That is... I, well, I think the thing we know about Nike, too, is they, uh, more than ever, are mm. paying attention to what, like, the internet is doing. Like, yeah. like I mm. remember the moment, because I was a member of Nike Talk since the beginning, mm-hmm. like, when it was 56K days. Mm-hmm. And I remember it got to a point where um, people would post and it got so popular that there would be Nike people that would be kind of scan- skimming through. Yeah, they would lurk on there. See, yeah. yeah, because we would talk about, <laughs> mm-hmm. like, we would get in these these forum chats about, like, oh, what colors should we want to see released? What shoe? Please, please, Nike. We would just mm-hmm. say it. Yeah. But then sooner or later, there used to be people, like, rolling yeah. through those forums. And then they would, we started seeing, uh, the, the forum, we started seeing them actually release the stuff that we wanted. Because mm-hmm. oh, they were doing these little, yeah. like, vote tallies. They were like, oh, petition Nike, whatever. And they would send this. Because some people on the um website would, would email Nike, like, this is how many people that yeah. love Nike that want these shoes re-released early like, internet days had more yeah. effect on most things than you would right. think, you you know think I mean? yeah mm-hmm. and now so they've got to figure something out <clears throat> with these releases and this is the thing is like they now they know about resellers they know that's why they started right. upping their prices they got to figure out these draws and ways to, for real people that want to wear these shoes to get these well, shoes honestly like, i is, think well we can kind of get into this now with yeah, the, the changing CEO of the thing. ceos Right. They just changed CEOs. Well, they let Gentry's touch Jordans again, so right. what the hell are they doing over there? I don't know. I, um, I, I, I th- w- go ahead. Well, no, it's very interesting. So the Nike CEO is stepping down. I can th- I think what I was reading about was they're going to mm. focus more on direct-to-consumer, like, sneakers app type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they hired, uh, I think his name was, like, Jeff or something, some guy from eBay. But it's the second yeah. hiring um, that someone got hired from eBay to go to another thing, because StockX hired an eBay guy. Uh. Yeah, a little while ago. Right. Mm-hmm. So these reseller auction type of people who are very familiar back from the early days um, are being now planted in re- leadership roles in some of these brands. Mm-hmm. Um, a board member from Adidas is leaving after like 25 years. And then the um, Under Armour CEO is stepping down. Yeah. Under Armour one makes the most sense. They're just looking to ch- do like change the culture yeah. of the company. So <laughs> I, I guess that makes sense. They're trying to. What they're putting up the Curry Sevens now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So there's like obviously there's a yeah. changing of the guard, kind of. They they kind of want to be more. They lost taken that MLB s- contract, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean like when Reebok lost the NFL, uh, the whole the whole, I because I remember I was there, the whole fucking like tr- area of the fucking office changed, like everything mm-hmm. was fucking different. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah. it's like, yeah. Sometimes you gotta switch this up, and it's just it's just weird that three. Major shoe companies are doing it at the same. This happened like all today, pretty much. You know, yeah. what I mean? like at, like within twenty four hours. Yeah, of each other, in yeah. twenty four hours, these three announcements were made, and it's fucking wild to think about. But yeah, so I think they're going to focus more on stuff like direct consumer sneaker apps, so you don't need the stores. Mm. Well, I think that might change the. I think we might get more of the old internet days. I think they're going to take more. They, they're taking more precedent with internet culture, right? Once again, I, I, I hope so. I don't really think. It, I, I think, just I'm wishful thinking out here. I, man. Yeah, I, know. I, mean, I hate that. That's a that's a rosy way to look. At I, it's I the only it's way like, I can it, think about it. Because I'm a person that loves. Like I like going to pick. I don't like ordering shoes. Like I like right. going. To, no, I, they're I very think, obviously trying to get rid of the brick and mortar they're, system yeah, entirely. They're, they're try- and I, yeah, a yeah. lot of companies are trying to do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 They don't want well, also the markup too is in better favor for the company. Like mm-hmm. if you if you yeah. make the shoe, it's say whatever a shoe costs. Let's say the average is twenty dollars, and you're selling it. Air Force One say let's say costs. 
cost 20 bucks. You sell them for 100 That's an $80 markup as opposed to selling them for Foot Locker for whatever. So it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. But the thing is, the consumer, us, we're already used to paying these prices. So they're saving the money from the middle person. Exactly. To do that. Exactly. And then they're still going to be hitting us for the same price. So, of course, they want to do that. Yeah. And that's why I don't like how Foot Locker is investing into these resale companies. I don't like it either because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that sits on those shelves where they could, you know, back door. You know, this thing, it's like a, it's an inside back door. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. come on, man. That's like. Yeah. That's got to be illegal. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, where are the rules on they this, make, They make no, the fucking yeah, rules, yeah. though, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you know, this is this just sucks. You know, someone in the in the Discord was saying, um, like, what they do is they sell us 80% of the shoe we want. So, like... Right. Like, which is uh, a great point. Yeah. So, um, someone said that, like, for the Shattered Backboard 3s, is a perfect example. Because we wanted that color blocking for that shoe. Yeah. We wanted the... Shattered Backboard 3s? Yeah. Well, they coming out with those? Yeah, they, don't, they came want, out already. Yeah, the Shattered Backboard threes didn't come out yet. Oh, they didn't when they oh, wait, came out. You talking about the the, 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 the ones? The, the Shattered Backboard. Yeah, not 3. the not 3. the threes. Sorry, three point oh. The three. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, my my fault. Yeah, yeah you got to be careful with some of the lingo, I guess. Okay. Um, no, but the three point Yeah, because that's they're the terrible. Yeah, that's the color them. blocking we wanted, but it's not the right material. Like if they're shiny and it's weird. The the bottom. Uh, the soles aren't yeah. the way we wanted it right. either. The yeah. soles are all cream. Soles are all like, cream. The materials they use. But uh, they're close enough to what we wanted for people to buy them. No. It's not close. I mean, it, there's still a lot of, obviously, there's still a lot of hype on the shoe, but it's it's just a thing of what Jordan Brand does. They're like, oh, this is what we said we were going to do, or this uh -huh. is what people thought we were going to do, and this is what people want, and we're going to be like, fuck gentry. that. Let's just give us, yeah, it goes back, it's, it goes back to gentry, gentry, man. Anyway, to the everything. to the point the guy made in the Discord is like, it, People are going to buy the 80% version, this right. one that's like close enough to some people. Yeah. Yeah. But then we'll just wait for the 100% because they didn't make it yet. Like, we might get it later. Well, from what I heard, these aren't even uh, being sold as Shattered Backboard 3s. Like, you know, the these uh, are just like, these are... A colorway. Oh, From really? what I've heard, I don't... Because the Shattered Backboard series has the uh, the uh, the insole. Right. Has the shattered backboard, right. Right. and it doesn't have that. And I don't think these do, but oh. these are. But but these are looked at as shattered backboard yeah. 3.0s because of the, the material or the colorway. Gotcha. It's synonymous, and if I'm correct, because I don't think they have the insole. Um, yeah, but I mean, at, the, at what point are they? When do they come out? Are they but, really you know, not? But you know who? You know? Know? How are they not? You know, the, just because of the insoles. But the internet creates the nicknames now. Exactly. Too. So it's like people. That's if people true. Start like popularizing. I remember there was a big pushback on the term bread for a lot of old school like Nike talk heads. Yeah. If somebody said bread, they just like post a picture of, like a loaf. Oh, they come out on Saturday. Right. 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 I remember that. Yeah. They. They. they so the, the, now it's just like who, whatever gets popular, who keeps calling it something, then it gets a name, and it's just yeah. like. Well, I I don't think yeah these don't have the the nickname of shattered backboards. Interesting. But yeah. yeah, I mean, but the way Nike yeah. sold the that's what pretty much sold the first version. Mm -hmm. Right. It was you know he was playing you know and and a, a game uniform, overseas yeah. mm -hmm. and he shot and he did a dunk and he shattered, shattered the, the backboard, backboard and, and then yeah he, I guess it's just the regular yeah it's just uh, a regular it? yeah. Do the satin ah, do the yeah. satin ones also have the shattered backboard insole? Mm, that's a good question. Let's yeah, the I don't women's know. one had it. The, 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 you know, that's important for collectors. Actually, you know what? Now that you bring up the satin, here's a question that we were trying to debate, which I'm sure you remember from the episode. No, like they the, do not. They, they don't. don't. They don't. Uh, they don't. If you look, it, it so looks, that doesn't are they even still count. called shattered backboards because the the, 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 the the remember the right because the original right, the, right, the right, original right. colorway. You know, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the satin fours coming out. Uh, next week, next Thursday. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I like those black too. Black cats, satin black cats. Those are kind of nice. How do you feel about satin as material? I think it's cool. Yeah, we were trying to like debate it looks on the like, It's like neoprene shit. for for a shoe. It's like, you know how you wear those neoprene shirts? A lot of like Fendi stuff has. Oh, it. yeah, like yeah. the yeah. soft yeah. matte like, like Yeah, kind of like soft. Glimmer like, shine. Yeah, it makes yeah. you look like a robot. It's like one of little those bit, things. Yeah. yeah, it's like, that's cool. I'm down like, to look like a robot. Well, it's like a helmet lang. Like helmet lang does it a lot. Yeah. You know, for you high fashion. Helmut. Helmut. <laughs> Helmut. It's, 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 it's Australian. It's Is it? Mm -hmm. Helmet. I used to work at Saks. So. <laughs> Helmet I was, I was line. Probably, uh, Hard un flex. Unloading those boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hard flex of a minimum wage job, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, so that's what, that's what makes this this one interesting because the first two, like I said, the insoles have the shattered. It's, it's sold as shattered backboard right. series. But these are so, like, the, the colorway is so, like. Ah, they're garbage. So it's yeah, almost it, it. What it does to me, like you said, is it leaves pe the door open for for the. I think a version. lot of people are gonna want to do that. But you know, I don't know. I was uh, I was at Foot Action yesterday. I was just talking to one of the employees, and he was like, "Yo, Shadow Backboard 3.0 is a fire. All you gotta do is put some acetone on the 
the uh, mm-hmm. the whatever that the shiny material in it, it looks pretty good, and it's just like we got to do all that. Yeah, well, yeah. come yeah. on, man, that's, you know? that's surgery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta do surgery for fucking for the shit to be for right. The shirt that we actually want. You know how many people speaking of the uh the the the, the doing stuff to your sneakers? You know how many people after the infrared sixes came out hit me up to cut get their to, old to, ones. No, to paint the the color because they didn't they didn't think it was a varsity red. It uh-huh. was supposed to be like a remastered OG, mm-hmm. and I guess that was close to the the, the original. Mm-hmm. But people were like, no, 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 we want the red, the 2000 retro red, like that varsity red. It still was right. like oh. a hint of pink on the last sixes. You got them right. I got yeah, yeah. They, it, it, well, I remember the uh, see. That's the thing what Jordan Brand does is they give you something but they don't give you everything yeah. right you know what 80, 20, baby. a lot of a lot of collectors and a lot of people well a lot of collectors and you got to realize in the mid 2000s or the, you know the early 20s you know mid 2010s people were like well, where the fuck is the nike air on yeah. the back of mm-hmm. the threes yeah. the fours the fives the sixes that yeah. was the big thing and jordan brand was like no we're gonna give you this jump man mm-hmm. and people was like well we'll just take the jump man because that's what you're giving us mm-hmm. that's the, the bone, 20, baby that's yeah. the bone you're throwing at us Humphrey. and then and then nike said hey fuck that um <laughs> we can do these in what in like 2013 we could do these uh the the slam the the slam dunk jordan threes the th- the three throw line jumps. oh the jo- uh, yeah, yeah the right. uh, yeah yeah but it was it was super limited and it had Nike Air on the back, but it had a Jordan clear, on the bottom. It wasn't clear the clear. Bottom. It wasn't the clear. Bottom. And it had the foul line shit too. It, no, that that was uh, a couple years ago. That was like last year or a year before. Oh, so the eighty eights. They called. Remember, they called right. them the, the eighty eight. Oh, the Jordan 3 oh, 88s. oh, oh, got you. Okay. Yeah. So people were so like, so many fucking just <laughs> so many so things. Many three, think yeah. of the same three. Yes. Like, so so people were really hyped. They were yeah. like, oh my god, this is you know finally. Oh, but y'all put a yeah. So instead of y'all put y'all put uh. It was fucking Nike Air on the back, but then on the bottom it said Jordan, and everyone was like, well, the originals had, you know, Nike. Right. Yeah. So then Nike started, you know, they started loosening up. Because remember, they the Nike Air was, like, considered a holy yeah. right, grail. Like, you know, like, if you got a pair of Jordan 1s in 20, you know, 2013, 14 with Nike uh, Air, that's yeah. why the shit was so... Yeah. And same thing with anything threes, you know. Like, remember, when they started putting the threes, you know, Nike Air on threes, that was, like... They did it on True Blues. They did it on, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, you know did a Cement 4s. Cement 4s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, remember, because, okay, how about this? The, in 2012, they had the white and Cement 4s, but it had the Jumpman on the back. And people were like, ah, the quality is terrible. And then yeah, Nike was said, bad. all right, well, you guys buy all these up, and then four years later, we're going to drop the white and Cement 4s uh-huh. with Nike Air. It's, and now it's just to the point where it's not limited. It's just like Nike's like, we're going to cash out on this right. you know we're gonna drop these all-star weekend black friday whatever because you guys were thirsty for this shit right i'm and waiting for them to announce og militaries that's another you they know they didn't do og militaries yet yeah and uh i'll cop them that's what i'm <laughs> like, saying well i'll get them it's easy money yeah it's easy money yeah and and that's what a lot of people were like you know they feel like you know it, until you really take a stand but it's like how you how do you take a stand not buy the shit someone's gonna buy it yeah you know yep and resell it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, you got we these uh Black and Cement 3s came out in 2018, All-Star Week in 2018. Black Friday 2011 they dropped the the Cement 3s with a Jumpman Air on the back. One of the worst like materials ever sold out. People were remember that's when Jordans were kind of limited, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. So it's uh That's when lines started. That's when lines. That's when yeah. lines started. Yeah. Bro. yeah. That's when I was really getting into the game. Th- that same uh, Chris, the uh, Christmas, the Concords came out. I mean, and you want to talk about a mass sellout of a thing. Granted, the Christmas 11s always sell out, but I just remember like you couldn't. It was hard. It, you had to really be focused. Now you can, everyone can stumble onto a pair of Christmas 11s. You know, bread 11s, Concord 11s, whatever. But you know, it's, it's, it's changed a little bit. But they they give the consumer what they want, but. They also are gonna keep fucking us because you know they still gotta sell these shoes. You know, ten years from now, yeah. what changes can you make if you don't make? No, any, I mean you make a strong point. Yeah. If you don't make any changes, you know, what yeah, are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah. That's Just gonna re-release. Yeah, you know? that was. I mean, that was. I'll say this, and then you know, I don't know if we can go to the next topic, but that's like uh, the 2013 uh, breads and the Royals. The Royals were so limited. I remember people were paying a thousand dollars in the secondary market for a pair of Royals. Mm-hmm. And then they decided in 2017 that they were going to give a a more 
a, a bigger release, but what people were complaining about was it was like, well, this shade of blue isn't. Remember, it was the remastered ones. Right. So you got yeah. remastered black and red, remastered royals. Mm -hmm. You know that and, remaster program was one of the biggest scams. Yeah, I don't know. It, I think it was. I think it was. Good. It was also met with a price jump too. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah. It was also met with a price because I think that's the entry into Nike understanding what this resale game is. Like they were paying attention to how much. Like it was a it's a billion dollar a year mm -hmm. over like but multi billion dollar a year thing in mm -hmm. reselling, and they were like, hell no. Yeah. And so we were making a lot of profit off of before. We're gonna make more because we're not having these people because people are just basically getting rich off of their products secondhand. Right. Yes. And it's like yeah. they don't like that. So that's why they should have a big problem with the Foot Locker goat thing because that is one of the people that they're supplying that can be withholding their sales. Yeah, dude, just so right. they can make double off of their product. Like that's got they, they, yeah, that's gonna come to a well. If I'm correct, and I and maybe I'm I'm incorrect. That's here, what I'm hoping for with the CEO change. Is but that I remember Nike took away some of uh, the retros that Foot Locker was getting. If I'm correct, some of the Jordans that Foot Locker was getting, they weren't getting. If I remember correctly, the, the this was a few years ago. Yeah, but. I think I was still at the magazine where I was talking to some stores, and they were like, "Yeah, they Nike took away like a bunch of our J's." Yes, yeah, if I'm correct, yeah, yeah it was. Like, they, a bunch of stores like would stop getting like bigger releases. Yes, a bunch of like chain store like Foot Locker. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they, I think they, they kind of shifted from the Foot Locker, and I don't know what the reasoning behind it was, but then they went to a lot of mom and pop shops. Yeah, and because a lot of mom and pop shops were getting you know certain releases, and then they figured it out that you know you still got to supply like you know Foot Locker, and now mom and pop shops are almost non-existent in yeah. the game, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah they're basically uh, consignment shops and resellers themselves. Yes, I know a lot of mm -hmm. mom and pop shops that are like, oh, we don't have an account, we just have them, and I'm like, so that means they're trying to go the bot route too, right? Just so they can become a mini flight club, like. Flatbush Avenue and places in Brooklyn, they still have like these sneaker stores are still uh, like happening. They're just don't, they don't have Jordan accounts. Yeah, the, yeah, like the Flushing J Stop has uh the, has a Jimmy Jazz, so you can get retail stuff. But there's like me and L, we went to two yeah. of them. You walk and up then and down, yep. going back down up Graham, there's like three more where it's mm -hmm. like I remember when um the JT threes came out. Yep, I went there just to see what was up. I was like, Yo, how much are these? And they're like, oh, three hundred. I was like. Fuck out of here with that! But then I went to the fucking Jimmy Jazz right there, and they're still on the shelf for retail. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember when um at the after the first SB craze and SB and the nobody cared like when uh the the concepts um the, the concepts the, the shattered the, not the shattered the stained glass um SBs like that era when it was like oh yep. yeah when they started yeah, releasing yeah. all the old SBs and high versions like the Tiffany's came out yeah yeah those before offsetting them started wearing dunks again yo yeah. they were so cheap on resale i know like, like those um yeah the three feet high and rising de la soul lows that came out with the same color blocking as the highs yeah those were go i could have got those for 80 dollars i could have gotten the i if had I, the lobsters i bought the lobsters if, for 180 if I, right if i wanted came to in. so I, I say all i said all that because i was getting to like like Fuck, I forgot where. I'm going. Well, <laughs> you, you, said, you said something I kind of want to uh, piggyback off of uh, when you said like guys like Offset, and now you're starting to see like well we've always saw it, yeah. but now we're seeing it in a bigger abundance where these uh, shoe brands don't even need to market anything. They say, "Here you go, yeah, you, these are your rapper, and all you gotta do is put up a picture on Instagram or you know hit, put up an IG video, DJ Khaled yeah. or it Travis Scott. Yeah, rather than spending millions on marketing, you can spend two hundred dollars on giving somebody on a pair seating of shoes. a pair yeah. on, on a person. And I just wanted to know how how big is that? I mean, obviously we're all we're grown men, but I mean, how big is it? Because you know, a lot, a lot of times when you see a rapper and people get excited, it's you know, a young kid who's yeah, like, yeah. "That's my favorite rapper." Oh yeah. yeah, it's huge right now. Yeah, I think yeah, it's huge right now. It works, and I'm I'm not mad at it. I mean, it's just how things happen. Mm -hmm. I'm mad at it. I didn't jump on a lot of those SBs, and they those prices went up. Right, but that was my point. <laughs> I saw a pair of De La Soul lows in one of those mom and pop shops, mm -hmm. and I, I was like, "How much for these?" And he was like, two fifty. I'm like. Dude, these are going for eighty dollars at Flight Club. Do you? I understand you're trying yeah. to resell here, but like you're not paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, like, are you yeah, kidding yeah. me? Like, you know what I mean? He was like, nope. Like, but um, I think it's cool though, man. Like rappers and stuff influencing shit. It's I well, mean, actually, to kind of go off you, I think you maybe we don't do it, but I think there are people like our ages that still look at rappers and like I'm gonna get that now. Yeah. Especially someone like Offset, who's like very popular and. Mm. Well, media advertising and culture doesn't right now. really work like that. Advertising just works from you seeing it 
and then you subconsciously kind of just like gravitate towards it. So yeah, because a lot it, of people, yeah, you you look at your favorite rapper, you look at the shoes that they're wearing mm-hmm. yeah. in the picture or whatever, and you kind of couch it in the back of your head, and then you're like, oh yeah, Offset wore those, right? Nike sends so much stuff to like YouTube people too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Send, uh, it's bullshit. Like, oh, I there's a dude. <clears throat> yo, fun, I found out about this yesterday. Mm-hmm. There's a dude that I uh, one of the doormen in the building I work at. He mm-hmm. told me about it. He got a tattoo mm-hmm. of an old school Nike logo on his neck, huge. Bro. Yeah, where uh, started making videos like he takes pictures on his Instagram, always wearing Nike shit. Mm-hmm. Nike sent him boxes of stuff, and now he's like, <sighs> now he's a sponsor. Like now he's sponsored Word? by Nike. Yeah, cool. I'm trying to get that La- sponsor money. La- I'm trying to get a little life. help. La- you know what lifestyle. I mean? <laughs> I don't got this bottle of water here for nothing. I like the alkaline water. <sighs> Audio listeners can't see yeah. got a bottle of water. He's got <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But no, it's, um, you got stories like that. Like people called him stupid, so called him stupid for getting that tattoo. They're like, "Dude, what's wrong with you?" Pockets has it's, a fucking Nike tattoo. I know how people have Nike tattoo, but it's like on an arm or something. Dude, it's on his neck. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's on it, and it's the blocking that says the N I K E and the swoosh. Mm-hmm. So, oh, like, he got the whole thing. He's got the whole thing. Damn. So for the listeners out there who um, who may live in you know a state that doesn't really have mom and pop shops and shit like that, I think. Uh, it's a necessary, uh, especially in New York City, and this is maybe, you know, 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, mm. where you trusted a mom and pop shop before you would trust a, a Foot Locker or oh, a Oh, hell Chips, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? definitely. I, I can remember being in high school, and uh, you would go to a mom and pop shop, and, and literally, I mean, you would pay over retail right. to get a pair of sneakers a month in advance so you can mm-hmm. you know yeah. flex yeah. on you know kids in high school or whatever and um and then somewhere along the line it just feels like you know mom and pop shops lost their accounts for doing shit like that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. even um like video stores and video game stores like the mom and pop was early because like if a game came out oh yeah i can remember that as yeah, well. you would, oh, yeah, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah yep. you could go get the shit that was like, it wasn't supposed to come out for like three months and you'd mm. just be at the crib playing it my, my brother and i got gold and silver three months early mm. oh yes yeah, fire was great those were the good old days. Yeah, man. Yeah, so mom and pop shops, you know, and then they just, I think, if you, especially if you're if you're a New Yorker, and I, I'm going to say this, if you've ever been d- downtown Brooklyn on Fulton Street, um, mm, yeah. there was nothing but mom and pop shops. Yeah. And then uh, Foot Locker and House of Hoops and, you know, all these different Jordan Jumpman stores, they took the place of the mom and pop shops because, once again, they felt like, hey, why are these little small stores getting... All this, this small, it's a small piece of the whole pie, but it's like, fuck that. Why are they getting it? Yeah. And then, like you said, everyone, it becomes, these dudes have to become resellers. Yeah. The, yeah. the mom and pop, because remember, they have to take on, not see a lot of people say, oh, well, they're going to get the hot shit, but they have to take on that the yeah. stuff that's not selling. Yeah. Well, yep. Stuff that nobody wants. Stuff that no one wants. You ever hear Mayor talk about it? No, I've never heard Mayor talk about it. Um, yeah, he they, he said in an interview basically that like because uh, people always ask because he's such a collector like why he hasn't never tried to like have a, a a physical location like a store. Yeah, and he was just breaking down the sneaker business of like mm-hmm. having accounts from knowing people. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he was like, dude, it just doesn't make any money. Doesn't make he any was, money. Like, it doesn't make any money. He was like, you, you take that. People think, oh, you taking Jordans, just like you were saying. No, you gotta take on. You gotta take all these Cortez. You gotta mm-hmm. take all mm-hmm. these like. Yeah. You, you know. You can't really get to pick and choose as much as you yeah, want. Yeah, right. You're not getting to get to the the level of a tier zero and what they receive. The shit that, like you said, you are taking on every garbage shoe that people are not buying, and that's why a lot of times. And I'll say this on on the podcast. There's a store um, called uh, it's called Premium Goods. And, um, oh, I know them. Yeah, I, 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 that's my man Fern over there. Shout the premium goods. So. And um, shout Fern. And I remember there was a few times when I remember in 2013. I remember getting a pair of uh, winning a raffle from them for a pair of Jordan ones, bread the bread ones. Yeah, and it was Christmas 2013. And I and I was like, I won the raffle, and I was like, how much are they? And they were like two fifty. And uh, so, you know, at the time, you know, Jordan one, I think it was like 140 or 150 or whatever. Yeah. So they marked it up basically $100. That's right. a lot. It's a lot. That's uh, 2013 a lot. Wow. Yeah. But when you yeah. looked at what they were, what people were trying to flip them for or what people were getting for them, I mean, you still were paying under what resale was, but right. it wasn't. And, and I look at a store like, like that, like a premium goods and, um, 
and I just I, I say it's obviously it's not a Foot Locker, it's not a Nike Town or anything like that. So, but they do have to take on a lot of shit, and I kind of I didn't under, I not I didn't understand it, but I got the game. Yeah, you you get you get it, you understand it. Sure. You know, I I don't like how everybody has the the word suggested before retail too on the box price. Well, the main ones that do that is uh, is uh, SBs skate shops. Yeah, skate yeah, shops buddy. are notorious. Yeah. for oh, it's like a forty dollar markup though, dude. I listen, listen. I can t- listen. I bought a pair of um, Jordan uh, the uh, the Lance Mountains. Yeah, and I remember uh, the the suggested is what like one. Sixty. I don't even, I don't even think it, maybe it was one sixty. I remember they were charging at that store two sixty five. That's nuts! Wow. What? But I don't like how you can't even but, argue the because like no well, cause, yeah because it says suggested like when you buy Arizona ice. I know this is completely off, but like it's on you, the can. It's ninety nine. Yeah. You can't. You can argue with the guy. You can go mm-hmm. no. It, this says ninety nine mm-hmm. cents. If I hand you a dollar, I can walk away with this. But when it says suggested one forty, yeah, you're like yeah, that's the suggested. But, but that's <laughs> the same thing that the skate shops are not big so when you know when they get this crazy like line for you know for whatever like whether i remember when it was uncle dunks or like tiffany lowe's oh, clientele well but what i'm saying now so they're getting all, hundreds of people wanting these shoes yeah. yeah but like you said it's that it's the bullshit that they got to take on that just sits in the escape shop and it's like they got to yeah. make their money it's a, too. Ta- it's a tax on the the hype shoes for the, the right. shitty there you shoes go. yeah there you go yeah damn well there you go uh, clientele back in the day, I missed them. They used to, they used to. I, I bought some help from night for Secret Society was my shit in, right, in Queens. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Krug Oh, Cole. Secret Society. Yeah, yeah I, I bought shit. a pair of um, <laughs> P rods from there. I remember. Do, <laughs> yeah, I bought a pair of P rods from there too. <laughs> Dude, I bought. A, the, there was these P rods that these came guys out. Just these guys just These lame. P rod SBs. Yeah, I went, and that's deep Queens. Like I went. I know. There, I, I live was, out there, dog. <laughs> that's my shit. Yeah, they made these like these chameleon and now it's colored. Gone. Yeah, they. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Um, yeah. Shut them down. Wow. Sneaker tax, baby. Yeah, man. It's a thing, man. Kruk, shout out to Crud Coast Skate Shop in Rochester, New York. They mm-hmm. they held me down when I was in college. When I graduated college, I mean, I had a lot of good memories there. And like you said, I, I didn't pay any of the suggested. The suggested is not, it wasn't, yeah. it was 160. I think SBs were like 110, yep. you know, 100, 110. I mean, they weren't yeah, yeah, well, 90. When, when SBs first popped, I'm talking mm-hmm. about black box, the pink box days. Mm. Oh, I think box days. I think, good era. I think the pink, yeah, because the pink box the suggested for De La Souls was 85 for highs. And I think, Whoa. I think it was yeah, I think it was like seventy five for highs and sixty five for lows. That's exactly what it was. Wow, yeah, that's why that. I loved SBs. This, they were the yeah. most entry this, level yeah, shoes. Exactly. They were super, super entry level. And now that I think about it, I was I was I was talking I, about those old stores I used to be on Lafayette. I don't remember. Yeah. Right. I used to make a I used to make a round. Uh, I'm a little bit. I think we're the same age. I'm a little oh, a couple years older. I used to make the round in um that where Supreme used to be on Lafayette. Yeah, it used to be clientele. Right, Supreme clientele. Um, I think that's why they named it clientele because it was across street from Supreme. But um, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, because it was Supreme, and then it was Clientel. And Clientel, I bought Send Helps from them for one ten. All right, how about oh, this? Oh, nice, yeah. Uncle Dunks. Yeah, one of my favorite shoes I have. Right, beautiful shoe. The yeah, su- the shoe. retail price on them back in two thousand four seventy dollars. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, it was. See? So, yeah, so I don't remember saying. them that, yeah. that yeah. cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I, they, and I, and I paid one hundred and thirty dollars at, at the time, and I got two pairs of them, and. And you know, and I was looking like Lawrence. You just spent two hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> wow! On yeah, yeah. Two yeah, pairs yeah. of sneakers, bro. <laughs> I like, had what? they were five hundred when I got in the game. Really? They were wow. already five hundred yeah. when I got in. Yeah. You know, I remember not copping those because I didn't want the the white bottom. Oh, yeah, I, I got the. the I, I thought the white bottom was gonna get because I got in like black purple box era, like gold box kind of oh, that yeah. era. So yeah. I had missed the boat on all the pink box shit. Yeah, and I, I was have, like, I had a lot. Of, I sold so much. so funny. We were talking about pink box. I had uh, I had Jedi's. Oh had, God, the Jedi's. To, to my, and I, the thing is, when SB I, SBs were kept their value so much. Yeah, Action mm. Bronson like, tried to buy his, my friend's pair off of him while he was wearing them. Wow, really? Yeah, <laughs> he was like, "I will give you eight hundred dollars for those right now." Wow. And he was like, "And I'll put you in new shoes." That yeah, well, yeah. I am. I take that deal. <laughs> <laughs> he did which, not. Which, which SBs were the the Jedi's? The Jedi's? Yeah. Wow. He yeah. was just walking around Greenpoint the other day. He's, he's always around. I see him man. all the time. He, he's in. Uh, his, he hangs out in East New York too. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, yeah. I see. I see him around the hood. Shout out to action. Um. But yo, yeah. I had Jedi's, man. I had uh, Sen Helps. I had. Oh, Sen Helps. Great. The all those like, sneakers. Dinosaur those, Juniors. Those, those Come those on. All six. I, I, that's when I got out. 
No. Yeah, that's Dino- Mork in. and Mindy and Dinosaur Juniors when I was uh, like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I actually had a pair of Mork and Mindy. Mork and they Mindy's were, are great. They were great. If you can keep like if you keep them in good condition, they're a beautiful shoe. You yeah. guys are getting me tight. I missed this SB era because I was you, wearing you, Yeah, you were already Reebok guy, right? No, I this before that I was actually like a DC Lakai Etni. I was like right. a oh, you skate skate skate. I was a skate. Skate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no one fucked at least in Boston. I don't know what it was here because you yeah. guys to talking like you guys were fucking on this day one and I'm jealous. Yeah. But no one in Boston was fucking with Nike as a skate shoe. No, it, that's that's when they, they were trying to solidify themselves. And yeah, they were coming out with all yeah, these collabs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had Futuras. Yeah, when I, I paid, it was so cheap. I, I got Futuras for like forty dollars. That's like, that's nuts. Oh dude. my yeah. god, Lowe's, bro! Yeah. Look at those. Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Fuck oh, it. I had push look heads. Push heads. I, yeah, I had yeah, push yeah. Heads, the first push Damn, heads yeah. to come out. I had um, the lows, right? Yeah, lows. Oh, I was beautiful. like trying to get my mom to buy me Americas. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the, I was not on this wave at yeah. all. I had, I had an active every, catalog in my fucking backpack. I had, I, blue lobsters. One, one, one twenty, one thirty. I had vamps. I had every be true to your school high. Yeah. I had St. John's. I had uh, Michigan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had everyone except. I had UNLV. I think I had everyone except like the the whatever the Navy one was, the Villanova. I had everyone except them. All of them. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I had a pair of uh, B-Trues, too. B-Trues, that, that suede, they should, oh, man. I, they you guys be, were referring oof. Futura shit? I was wearing, like, Costin Ones or some oh, shit. Futuras. Oh, I had uh, Hunters, Hunter Lowe's. Damn, yeah. see, this is like, too. Oof. <sighs> I never understood the hype for the pigeons, though. I remember that day. I remember yeah? that weekend. Yeah, I remember that weekend. I was like. Nah, you know what? I saw As it. someone who came in, like, kind of, when I moved here, I was like, I wonder if they're around, like, I was trying to think in my head, like, where can I get these? Because these are the hype shoots. So, like, talking to people, it was just the fact that they were the NYC, like, selected. Yeah, I think yeah, it's because, yeah, yeah. uh, the, also, Staple was, was really hot then, too. They had yeah, Respace, Respace was a yeah, store Respace you had to go to. You had to go to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, yeah. Had, they had, like, the rugs, the Supreme rugs and all that. Yeah. Um, also, but the London's in Paris, they're all expensive, too. So, like, yeah. that, that City series was, like, all, like, thousands of dollars. Jeez, yeah, but it was our city. <laughs> yeah, the London's were trash. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. The Uncle Dunks, wow! Uncle Dunks, Tiff. That was uh, that was, was a, a great good era, era, man. Great era. That was a good era. It was a good era for Jordans too. Yeah, it was, not, Jordan SB. That was my shit. Then I got into runners. Yeah, because I started with it. Before this one it was like, like a Roshi. Lifestyle. When Roshi did the when did in? the runner shit really pop? That caught me off guard um, because the athleisure shit came later when the whole outfit was like you about to go on a run. But yeah. like I don't remember when runners really. Came in. 2012, well, there was, well, on right? Nike Talk, there was always like there would be like little people who have signatures for their little teams. There was there was always pockets of like hardcore fans. Like I remember there was this kid called uh, his name was um like Am- Air Max Kid or something like that. Yeah, like, he had like his Air Max One collection. Yeah, like, he had Amsterdam's. Mm. This is before like like oh, Amsterdam ones. Like maybe that's when Amsterdam when ones the, were the first. Oh, he had Clot ones when the like, infrared ones re released. Maybe that's when maybe started I don't hype. I don't I consider those ones like runners though. I don't put them in that Air Max category. ones. Yeah, I don't oh, put yeah, them in that. No, but they they were before. They would no, I know, a but shoe, you, yeah. shoes can evolve. I, out I of, hear yeah. you, but I think that was like that's entry level runner shoe, right? I'm saying it was like Ronnie the one it, that made like because he look made at what, gel like, they pop. kind of evolved, right? Then they came up with the fly nets and whatnot, but that's like yeah, more yeah, recently, yeah. you know. And you had to get them on board with the Air, Nike Air Max brand. The, that clot collab yeah. with the Air Max one, where it was a clear toe box. Yeah, that was the first shoe I saw selling for like four thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. That was this is this is like when 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 Flight Club was on Waverly like mm-hmm. like off of Broadway. I it remember was on that little block. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was those days. The increase of Flight Club. That's a topic in itself. In itself, guys. I had an yeah. interview on uh, at Flight Club on Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I didn't go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> on principle? No, it was seasonal. So I was like, I'm uh, not going to oh, play that I game. Got you. I, I've had friends who've worked at Flight Club uh, and they did not enjoy the time there. Chris yeah. Vidal, homie from A Life, he was one of the managers there for a while. Yeah, I have friends who, and, and uh, it's and probably I, stressful. Well, it's, I think, I think Flight Club has a reputation, and their employees have this like, "fuck, you're bothering me." Not the, not so much the sales, but like especially the consignment area. Yeah, yeah. where they're just like, "yo," because I'm sure they get a million people who go in there and they be like, "I, I want, I want to sell these for more than 500 And Flight Club's like, "we're not doing it." And yeah, they're like, yeah. "fuck that." Nah, I want more, and it's like. That, but then also the employees, man, because I've had my ins and outs with some of those dudes and in consignment. A lot of the times, too, it's like 
it's dude dealing with hype beasts all day must wear you down. Oh yeah, you know? oh, totally. It wears like the same way. Like I, I work at a comic book store, yeah. so when you only get people coming in and being like, "Show me Avengers," mm-hmm. I'm like, "Dude, there's other shit out there. Mm-hmm. Just <laughs> fucking Joe, just ask me for some other shit, mm-hmm. and yeah, I'll yeah. fucking find you some good shit that mm-hmm. you'll like." Mm-hmm. You know, it gets frustrating because these people have tastes in their own shoes. And they want to kind of show people their f- kind of shoes that they like, but people are just like off white ones now, you know. Well, even at Supreme, like, yeah, like the like the those dudes, you know how they help you when yeah. they help you if you're looking for skateboards. Yeah, they are really they're nice. Everybody talks about how shit. They're like because they're all they're all sponsored they're all skaters. skaters. Exactly. Yeah, if you talk about if you want to talk to them about box logo tees or, or no, any they don't stuff, give a shit they about hate that. You. Speaking exactly. real quick, yeah. we, we got to wrap it up in a second. Okay. But speaking of box logo tees, okay. uh, Supreme opened up a new store in San Francisco. San Francisco, right, yeah. They dropped a uh, and they dropped a box logo, uh-huh. and a lot of people are shitting on the box logo right. because they're saying, oh, there's so many different ways you could have went. Right, and you went with the plain box logo with the address of the store on the bot back. Yeah, I mean, from a design standpoint, I actually kind of appreciate it, but I do understand them going like, what is yeah, this you see for? the frustration for sure. Yeah, I, I, I get it, but from a like a launch point to like. Launch stuff is not supposed to look crazy. No, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be like stuff that your team yeah. wears on day one. Yeah, right. no, it's think of it as an employee tee. Like that's exactly. what it's supposed mm-hmm. to look like. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think it's cool. It's I think it's fine. It's like whatever. That's why dude. they got popular and being so simple. So. Yeah. And I think uh, we're getting. I think real quick, uh, last thing I want to say. I think we're getting the Supreme uh, North Face uh, with the Ooh. Statue Ooh. of Liberty on it. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. I'm excited for that. Okay, I so, like that. Uh, you want to yeah. try? A That's this week. I don't. Know. I think I, it was. They said it was supposed to come out this week, but I think it's coming out. Uh, possibly next week. Supreme's coming out. You know, now it's the holiday season. They're about to try to drop a lot of heat. So Ooh, I'm gonna drive by that. Oh, and the Wallabies. Wallabies. Supreme Wallabies. Yeah. Supreme Wallabies. Yeah. In competition with the Kith Wallabies. Mm. Mm, Cozy Dude, versus Kith, hype dog. Guess another place I applied to work at. Kith, man, yeah. they got some shirt. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. On the on the clothing tip, Kith yeah. is man, that place is killing it. I know. I say, yeah, man. You uh, let the people know where you can be found at. Bro. Oh yeah, right. Uh, Twitter. I- I'm tweeting now, y'all. At, at- <laughs> <laughs> See the way he said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tweeting now. <laughs> you were, you said it like you like t- flirting with Twitter. Y'all, I'm tweeting. I'm y'all. tweeting now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yo, special. Dog, yo, I'll be <laughs> tweeting and shit. At Flyzan. Yo, I'll be fly on, on my Isaiah shit on same Twitter on now. Same on the Instagram. Hell yeah, come on, cross girl. platform for Isaiah. Y'all catch me. Yo, Instagram, <laughs> cross, uh, yo, check me Twitter. Cross platform, dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cross platform, dog. <laughs> Um, LZD325 at Trevisus at Not That Chini. Guys, we have a sale on the merch right now. So if, oh, yeah. if you want, merch. we got merch. I'm going to get some merch. It's on sale yeah, right now. It's on sale. I'm going to get some merch. So look, fucking Becky makes us some fucking awesome shirts. Okay? Yeah. High and, quality, man. Yeah, they're, they ain't, I, and I'm telling you because I know no, I'm your cop. favorite streetwear brand uses the same blanks that we do. Because yeah. I made sure they're the same blank. No, nah, I'm gonna rock those on stage, man. I'm a guy. Oh yeah, guy. that's my guy. I'm that's why I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Rock those on stage. I got you. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, go to remember to be happy dot com. Um, you'll see the shop area. Go to the sub su- uh, page and then rock with your cock out there. Uh, and then go on the Discord. Um, I'm in there. I gotta, I gotta check it more. I'm yeah, you, check you it more. and L, you gotta bulk it in there more. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. That was fun. The, the fans are fun people. They're, they have opinions on sneakers and they want to be hurt. Yeah, you know? straight up. Uh, and you can ask them if something's fly or not. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah they'll right. be, they'll be more. Yeah, next time, I, next yeah, time I go to cop, I'm gonna hop on the Discord. Yeah. Everyone's quick too. Everyone's yeah. quick to get back on there. Yeah, right. hop on um, the Discord. Yeah, so shout out to you guys. I'm trying to think. There's anything else? Is there any announcements? I don't think so. Uh, uh, we have a monthly show. Oh, yeah. We have a new monthly show. Oh, word? Yeah. yeah. So at the Village Lantern in West Village, right. uh, yeah. November 26th. 26th, yeah. Is that what I said? It's the f- last Thursday, Tuesday of the yeah, month. That's a, that's a 26th. Us three. And you want to be on the show? Yeah, sure. All right. Now, nice. Isaiah's going to be there. Malia's going to be there. Right. We're getting some previous guests on. We nice. have a monthly show now. So yeah. the podcast, uh, if you want to see our stand up, you could do that. Um, us three are gonna host, and we'll just get our boys, our fly ass boys, fly to ass boys perform their, on, their jokes. I, I, I love that. Like, you gotta get a hype beast comedy show. Just yeah, hell yeah, yeah. hype beast. Like, you gotta check show. your kicks at the door, son. Like, you sold out. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Sold Out Tuesdays. It's at eight nice. o'clock. Village Lantern. Um, last Tuesday of the month. That's fine. Uh, Where yeah. your fucking heat. Where your heat. That's Come fine. through Discord. Email us subpodcast at oh no subpodcast nyc at gmail. You can email us. You can text us too. You guys know the number. Just you guys know all the shit to do. Just fucking come through and hang out with us. Thank you for listening to the Randy Moss episode with it. Yeah, Randy Moss, 84. Yeah. Yeah. Viking for life, not Patriot. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs> He's a fucking Patriot. All right. Shut He's up. not a fucking He's Patriot. He's not a Patriot. He's a you can't, fucking keep, you can't Patriot. do that. Brady Moss. <laughs>